how to resolve conflicts healthily. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a crucial topic that affects all of us conflict resolution. Whether it's with family, friends, or colleagues, conflicts are inevitable. But fear not. In this video, we'll equip you with practical strategies and insights on how to navigate conflicts healthily and find resolutions that foster understanding and growth. So grab a notebook and get ready to level up your conflict resolution skills. Let's dive in. Introduction to Conflict Resolution Conflicts are an inevitable aspect of human interaction, arising from differences in opinions, values, or interests. They can manifest in various settings, including personal relationships, workplaces, and broader social contexts. Understanding the dynamics of conflict resolution is crucial for fostering a harmonious environment where differences are navigated constructively. Conflict resolution encompasses a range of strategies and techniques aimed at addressing disagreements in a manner that prevents escalation and promotes mutual understanding. When conflicts are left unresolved, they can lead to increased tension, resentment, and a breakdown in communication. Conversely, addressing conflicts promptly and healthily can lead to positive outcomes such as strengthened relationships, enhanced problem-solving skills, and personal growth. 1. Understanding the Nature of Conflict Conflicts are an inevitable part of human interactions, arising from differences in opinions, values, and goals. Broadly, conflicts can be categorized into three main types interpersonal, intrapersonal, and organizational. Each type has distinct characteristics and origins, yet understanding their nature is key to resolving conflicts effectively. Organizational conflicts, as the name suggests, arise within a group or institution. These conflicts can be due to structural issues, communication breakdowns, or differing objectives among team members. Organizational conflicts often involve multiple parties and can significantly impact productivity and morale if not addressed promptly. 2. Active listening Active listening involves fully concentrating, understanding, and responding thoughtfully to what the other person is saying. It is essential to listen with the intent to understand rather than to reply. This means avoiding interruptions, maintaining eye contact, and providing feedback that shows comprehension, such as nodding or verbal acknowledgments. Demonstrating active listening helps to build trust and shows respect for the other person's viewpoint. 3. Empathy Empathy, or the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, plays a critical role in conflict resolution. By putting oneself in another's shoes, one can gain a deeper understanding of their perspective and emotions. This understanding can lead to more compassionate and effective communication. Practicing empathy involves acknowledging the other person's feelings and expressing that understanding, which can help diffuse tension and foster mutual respect. 4. Nonverbal Communication Nonverbal cues, such as body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice, significantly impact the communication process. Positive nonverbal communication can reinforce verbal messages, while negative cues can create misunderstandings and escalate conflicts. Being mindful of one's own nonverbal signals and interpreting others' cues accurately is essential. Maintaining an open posture, making appropriate eye contact, and using a calm tone can convey openness and willingness to resolve the conflict. 5. Assertiveness Assertiveness involves expressing one's thoughts and feelings honestly and respectfully without being aggressive. It is about standing up for oneself while also considering the other person's perspective. Assertive communication can be achieved by using I statements, which focus on one's own experiences and feelings rather than blaming or criticizing others. For example, saying I feel upset when, instead of you always. This approach helps to express concerns clearly while reducing defensiveness and promoting constructive dialogue. Six strategies for healthy conflict resolution. Resolving conflicts in a healthy manner is crucial for maintaining positive relationships and fostering a collaborative environment. Several strategies can be employed to address disputes constructively, with negotiation, mediation, and collaborative problem-solving being among the most effective techniques. Negotiation is a process wherein parties involved in a conflict engage in dialogue to reach a mutually acceptable solution. This strategy requires active listening, empathy, and open communication. A step-by-step -step approach to negotiation includes identifying the underlying issues, understanding each party's perspective, brainstorming potential solutions, and agreeing on a resolution that satisfies all involved. For example, in a workplace disagreement over project duties, 
team members can negotiate by openly discussing their concerns and reaching a compromise on task distribution. The importance of self-awareness in managing emotions cannot be overstated. Self-awareness involves being conscious of one's emotional triggers and responses. By understanding what provokes certain emotions, individuals can better anticipate and control their reactions. Mindfulness practices, such as meditation, can enhance self-awareness by encouraging individuals to stay present and observe their thoughts and feelings without judgment. Mindfulness also plays a crucial role in conflict resolution. By staying present and fully engaged in the moment, individuals can respond more thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. This approach fosters a more constructive dialogue and reduces the likelihood of escalation. Techniques like progressive muscle relaxation and guided imagery can further support mindfulness by promoting a state of relaxation and focus. 7. Building Conflict Resolution Skills Developing robust conflict resolution skills is essential for managing disputes effectively and fostering healthier relationships. These skills can be honed through consistent practice, dedicated training, and thoughtful self-reflection. One of the most effective ways to enhance one's conflict resolution capabilities is through structured learning opportunities such as workshops and courses. Many organizations offer specialized training sessions that focus on communication strategies, negotiation tactics, and problem-solving techniques, providing a comprehensive understanding of how to navigate conflicts constructively. Eight, the role of third parties in conflict resolution. In the realm of conflict resolution, the involvement of a neutral third party can be instrumental in navigating particularly complex or entrenched disputes. Mediators, arbitrators, and counselors each bring unique skills and approaches to facilitate resolution, ensuring that all parties feel heard and understood. Understanding the distinct roles and contexts in which these third parties operate can significantly enhance the process of resolving conflicts healthily. Arbitrators, on the other hand, are typically involved in more formalized conflict resolution settings. When parties seek binding resolutions and are unable to come to an agreement on their own, an arbitrator steps in to make a final decision based on the evidence and arguments presented. This process is often utilized in legal or commercial disputes where a definitive outcome is necessary. The impartiality of the arbitrator ensures that the resolution is fair and based on the merits of the case, rather the emotions or biases of the parties involved. 9. Maintaining healthy relationships post-conflict Resolving a conflict marks the beginning of a renewed effort to maintain a healthy relationship. The aftermath of a disagreement often leaves lingering emotions, making it crucial to rebuild trust and reinforce positive interactions. Re-establishing trust involves consistent and honest communication. Open dialogue fosters a safe environment where both parties feel heard and valued, reducing the likelihood of misunderstandings. As we wrap up, Remember that conflict resolution is not just about finding a quick fix, but about building stronger relationships and fostering empathy and understanding. We hope the tips and strategies shared in this video empower you to approach conflicts with confidence and grace. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more insightful content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay mindful, stay compassionate, and keep resolving conflicts healthily. Thanks for watching.